Hello good people, George with Virtual Staging here. Thank you to all of you for leaving comments and supporting this channel. For those of you who are new to the channel, we do talk all things virtual staging and design. Enough of me rumbling, let's crack on with the real deal. 13 hours ago, Sartz wrote a comment on having issues with the very material wrapper and his scene in general, and more precisely with the he was lacking shadows. After receiving his scene, had a quick look and here is what I've discovered. I have opened the scene with 3ds Max 2021 and V-Ray 5 and the first thing I see is the background option inside the frame buffer is switched off. Guys, seriously, this is very, very serious thing. <laughs> I'm joking. So um, I've turned it on and the second thing I've opened the environment tab by pressing 8 on your keyboard, there was another map as well. Obviously, he watched the other video where I was troubleshooting with V-Ray and the material wrapper again. By the way, the link is down in the description for those of you who haven't watched it yet. So there is a plenty of tricks I've showed there too. So go and watch that video after, the end, after you watch this one. And now let's switch off all the photos and reload them back again. Sometimes 3ds Max is not reloading the images, so it's worth reloading it again. Just a little bit. Well guys, I'm not surprised that nothing has changed, but you shall not cry. Third thing, I've noticed that the lighting he created uh, is a very plain, which is okay, but 40% of the window opening is not covered, guys. Therefore, he's missing on the light. Let me fix that one as well. As some of you may know already, I've made another video on V-Ray Material Wrapper, which is linked down in the comments and the description. And after the end of this one, where I've solved basically one of the bugs with the V-Ray Material Wrapper and in general 3ds Max was exactly that the light needed to be turned off and back on and it solved the whole game so go and watch that video if you haven't and now the, the next thing i have to do is to check if he had set the very shadow mat properly select your room object right click and then pick very properties and well it's all good there so i'm on to the next thing now next on my list is to check the render setup Ften on your keyboard and then V-Ray panel, then the drop down called environment. One of the other issues in this scene is that the bed material looks like a, it's made of glass. And if I turn off the J environment, the problem goes away. But we need that additional light cast from the image in that slot. So what do we do? Here is up close. The bed sheet looks either transparent or it's made from glass and if I open the material browser, press M by the way on your keyboard because if you're lazy, lazy like me, you would want something like a fast solution. To fix this issue with the glass looking type of bed, I will make a copy of the background photo but before that I will rename the original one to screen and then the new one will be called spherical. The duplicate map will have coordinates set to spherical environment and I will plug the new map into the GI environment slot. Here we go, one of the problems is solved guys. Now on to the next thing and I must check if the room object is made in a correct way. I selected the object and I will press 4 on the keyboard to activate the polygon and then I will select Ctrl A to select all the polygons from that object. And here is a quick tip guys. I'm inside the scene, I've created 3 additional boxes and I will convert one of them in a double poly. When you select an object and when it's converted into editable poly, this part of your screen will look like something, it might resemble this. At the top you should see selection and this is called sub object menu. It, it can be activated from here as well and the first thing is vertices, edges, border, elements, uh, polygons and elements. If I select my object and then pick vertices if i press ctrl a 3ds max will select all vertices the same will happen if i select edges 
polygons and element will select the whole element nothing will happen if i select border because border works only when there is a whole or missing polygon from our object and now we are back to the scene and i had a feeling that something was not right but houston we have a shadows now i think it's a good idea to leak my viewport as it's a bit dark go to drop down menu view and then viewport settings change the default lights to two default lights and press apply even if your version of 3ds max is not the same the menu will look almost identical in terms of options and now as you can see if i flip back shadows are gone so basically the main problem of that scene was the polygon of the room was not set in the correct way but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to create another wrapper material just simply type the wrapper into the search box in the inside the material editor and you will find it always make sure to rename your material guys this is crucial then i need a standard material which i will rename as well and we'll plug the standard material inside the base slot of the V-Ray wrapper. And then I will change the white color to 199. By the way, it should never go above 205 because 255 is way too much. It will slow down your rendering and basically the white will not be white but just overexposed values inside which will make the 3ds max to clump and yeah it will be a general mess then i will apply my new v-ray wrapper to the scene object and i will turn on all the checkboxes and turn off some of them generate caustics and receive caustics should be turned off matte surface matte reflection and alpha contribution minus one shadows and affect alpha should be on as well and this will make the job for my v-ray wrapper and for all of you who are new to the channel and virtual staging with V-Ray, make sure to watch the video and at the end it is full with ton of useful tips how to do virtual staging with V-Ray. Five minutes later. And a very common tip as a bonus from me is the output size in 3ds max to not match the image resolution this results in skewed and funny looking photos make it as a rule of thumb open your word and notepad write down in capital letters always set the output size to match the image resolution and as soon as you do it lock down this aspect ratio and the next step is to lower down the, the initial resolution at 3000, 2000 or anything you like but because of doing this you will help your render engine to work faster until you decide to render the final image which then you can reverse back to the highest resolution and voila i hope this quick tutorial guys shed some knowledge but if you're hungry for more go and watch the video at the end of this one give it a like share with your friends click the subscribe button this bell notification icon as well and this was george with virtual staging see you in the next video